Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. It's been a while since we've uh, since I've done a video, but I, we're kind of celebrating the new release of Studio One version three, a fantastic release with some great capabilities. Uh, we're going to be diving into those as uh, time goes on here. But I wanted to show you a quick capability that I think is really cool, but it's a little hidden on how to do it. Uh, it's creating a thumbnail for your effects, right? So what, if you can see here in the browser, you've got Empire, you can see a little thumbnail of it, and all of the PreSonus plugins have thumbnails. So you can quickly identify through a visual of which plugin you want. But the thir your third-party plugins are obviously not going to come already set up. You're going to have to go through and go through a process to um, to show have thumbnails show up for those particular plugins. So here's how you do it. So let's say I want to I want to have a, um, an image for CLA 2A, which is a a plugin from um, from Wave. So I just basically put that on a track, right? And there it is. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that this plugin is looking exactly how I want it to look like in the thumbnail. So if you're using like an EQ or something like that, you want to manipulate it so whatever snapshot you're going to take here is it, it's how it's going to look in the browser. But it's once you've done that, it's real simple. You just go here to this pull down menu and you click update plugin thumbnail and boom, there it is right in your browser. And you can do this for any plugin. It's real simple and it's a great way to quickly identify the effects that you use most often. And that's the ones I really keep it to, the ones I use most often. This way I can scroll down, see an image, and boom, pull it right in. So that's a quick tip on how to do thumbnail updating for your plugins in Studio One. Hope this was helpful. We're going to have more tips as we go along. Again, great release. I recommend going to, to, to PreSonus site, download the demo, uh, try it out. Even you Pro Tools users, I think you're going to see a big difference in workflow in Studio One version 3. Thanks for watching, and have a great day, guys.